people of tomorrow, I'm Argetria Michelle Gracia, currently serving as the Ambassador of Public Health for District 6, AMSA Indonesia, 2018-2019. Let me give you a glimpse of my life. I'm 18 years old, and for the time being, I'm moving from my home in Jakarta to attend Faculty of Medicine Hasanuddin University in Makassar, South Sulawesi. Every morning, I take the public transportation to campus, or the one we usually call Angkot in Indonesia or PT PT in Makassar. During the drive, I encounter so many people from different layers of society, from students to teachers, old housewives who are going to the traditional markets, grown-ups up who are going to their office to make ends meet, and so many others. But sadly, more often than not, I also run into smokers. Mostly, they are the drivers of the public transportation itself. The smoke lingers and disperses into the air and inhaled by the passengers. It shows how smoking affects everyone around the smokers even when they only breathe in secondhand smokes. If only they knew about the existence of no smoking zone policy in Indonesia or Peraturan Kawasan Tanpa Rokok as stated in Undang-Undang Republik Indonesia Nomor 36 Tahun 2009 and specifically Peraturan Daerah Kota Makassar Nomor 4 Tahun 2013. It's proclaimed that there are seven no smoking zones in Indonesia. The first one is healthcare facilities. Second, teaching and learning environment. Third, playgrounds. Fourth, places of worship. Fifth, public transportation. Sixth, offices or workplaces. And seventh, public places. Therefore, AMSA Indonesia and Hasanuddin Kontak Center for Tobacco Control and Non-Community Disease Prevention held a campaign to commemorate the World No Tobacco Day 2019 to support and outspread smoke-free zones, especially in our beloved country, Indonesia. What we did was we visited a residential area in Makassar named Bumi Tamalan Rea Permai or BTP in the neighborhood of Buntusu to officiate Lorong Tanpa Rokok or Lontar, a smoking-free alleyway, and to spread the word about the no smoking zones. I had the honor to speak about the diseases as the impact of smoking. I was so contented to see the overflowing enthusiasm from the locals as they tried to ask and engage in the topic that I delivered. Other than that, supported by Dinas Kesehatan Kota Makassar as the public health officer, we were granted the permission to apply no smoking zone stickers to several Makassar public transportations. We asked for the driver's approval to free the transportation from smoke for the sake of their passengers' health and convenience, and also educate them about the importance of this policy. I'm truly hopeful of an environment with no place for smoking. Let's start from the people around us, our surroundings, then it shall grow to a bigger scale, not only in Makassar or Indonesia, but to everyone and everywhere. Let's make every day no tobacco. Day.